how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark and here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what's sold videos, unboxings, reviews, and hauls. <laughs> so if those are videos you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. Got another Chris <laughs> Christmas, got another uh, Halloween shirt on. Not sure when this will get posted, but I am filming this on October, October 7th. All right, so I'm just gonna get into it. I don't want this video to be hours long. I got, ooh, 70 pounds, no. Got like 56 pounds for $70. I'm gonna show you this piece first because I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or get rid of, or sell it. <laughs> get rid of it. Is this like throw blanket? Um, but it has, these little cowboys on it and southwestern i mentioned it a lot of times very very in right now and i believe this is a bob timberland collection which i don't think means anything like i don't think it's sought after or special but that's it says it on the blanket and then also following that is this very southwestern purse um it is new with like the tag still attached to the inside but i believe it was used you can sort of tell on the back that there's some where I don't think it's leather. It's actually a Cote by Urban Outfitters. And it was originally $44. Cute fringe detail and then like the gold crossbody chain. Um, a couple other things I'm gonna show in this haul are things I'm actually donating to a rescue. Um, if you guys have the opportunity, like you shop at the bins or you have dollar days or you just have really, find really cheap items, I would suggest uh, looking and seeing if there's any rescues, missions, shelters in your area. And they'll usually have a list of items that they're looking for. And especially for the winter, they're looking for jackets, very warm like hats and gloves and such. So this hat is from H&M, but I thought it was actually kind of cute. And it's a nice like heavy knit and I'm gonna give that to the shelter. These pants, I have no idea what these pants are for, but I thought they were cute and very unique. And I'm sure I could figure it out once I look it up, but. They're a wool blend L.L. Bean men's like capri, like they're Velcro there at the bottom. And I don't know, they're really cute. I don't know if you like you'd use that for like hiking or wear it with some tall socks. I'm gonna have to do some more research, but L.L. Bean usually sells really well for me. This heavy jacket is actually by Alfred Dunner. Um, I'm not selling this. This is going to shelter. Then I picked up this t-shirt, it was Star Wars, size extra large, Death Star. I picked up much less things to send a thread up this time, if any at all. Um, but this is probably a pair that I'm gonna end up sending to thread up. I can't really sell Lucky Brand. These actually might be men's, because they say 3032. So I'm probably gonna have to sell these myself. I did end up getting quite a few pairs of jeans this day. I had to go before work. Um, so I had to wake up early and go sort of like right after they opened, but then I had to hurry up and go to work after. So I honestly don't even remember what I bought. This is like a very light pair of jeggings. These are Old Navy Rockstar 24 seven, size four. I did pick up some smaller sizes. This is another pair of Old Navy Rockstars. I ended up picking a lot of like, I guess, summer jeans, like a light wash, but they'll sell eventually. These are a mid-rise, super skinny, Old Navy pair of jeans, so not the rock stars, but I do decently well still. This is American Eagle Outfitters, size small. Really cute gray mock neck soft sweater. This I thought was fun. This is a Columbia size medium, 10, 12. So girls, like bright purple, pink, um, soft slip up jacket. These are a pair of really lightweight men's pants and the only reason I really got them is because they're um, Carhartt and I do decent with Carhartt. Um, I probably would only pick it up at the bins unless I thought the piece was really unique. Found some really cute flannels um, there today. Hoping that there's nothing wrong with them but this is an Eddie Bauer. I'll pick up Eddie Bauer. Um, I like to sell it. It doesn't sell for too much but it usually sells pretty quickly for me and it's hard to tell but it's like a micro gingham ribbon blue pattern. It has a very old look to it, but in like the cutest fall way possible. Okay, this I'm probably going to send a thread up. It's blank NYC. And it's like this faux leather knit jacket. It's 
kind of hard to tell what it is. Oh, there's like 7% wool, but um, the leather's fake. And I just want to see sort of how this brand will do. Um, these are a pair of Adidas size medium. They might be a men's uh, cute jogger. I like selling these, especially when I find them at the bins. I'll pick up Adidas and Nike. Uh, this is a new tags, our kids uh, t-shirt and it says, I just want to ride. Um, it's a size nine. Then I got this little gold thing. It's also from Zara. It's a size small. It's like a crop top, but I like it. It's cute. Um, it has this gold thread on it. I thought this would be nice with a skirt or some high-waisted pants or whatever you want for uh, New Year's. Then I found a couple of these nasty gal size four like wrap tops with these bell sleeves. Um, I'm excited that I found this brand again. I found a top from them last time I was at the bins and it sold pretty quickly with good interest. Not for too much, probably like $18 I wanna say. A nice green, like green leopard print. Um, it'd be cute for like Christmas. Now these I don't know anything about. <laughs> it says they're made in Turkey, which could be a good thing. They're very thick knit, soft, pants. I'm gonna have to do some research. It's XLE is the brand. XLE. Size medium. And it was new with tags, but there's no price on it. So I'll put on the screen if I figure out something about these comps or whatnot, but they're very thick, stretchy, soft pant. I like them a lot. I was excited to find a couple new with tag pieces. That usually doesn't happen to me very often. Another fringy piece. This I was excited to find. Um, this is American Eagle, but it's their soft and sexy line. And their soft and sexy stuff always gets a lot of attention in my closet. Again, doesn't sell for the most, but I really love this fringe detail. And this color is so fall. Oh, I picked up a couple of these, but they're like vintage <laughs> um, sweaters. Like fall sweater has leaves on it. This would probably do pretty good on Etsy, but I've sort of given up on Etsy. I totally forgot I picked this up. This is, I don't think this is a, it's, the brand is Next Level Sustainable. I don't think the brand is anything, but it says, skip a straw, save a turtle. I just thought it was really cute. And the, like the shirt material, you could just tell it's super nice and thick. It's a size small. These I was excited to find, Torrid, size 16, regular. Jeans with some distressing, skinny, good size. Torrid, I usually list for 30 and then I'll send offers and I'll probably usually get between 25 and 30. This is another piece I'm sending to thread up. It is Michael by Michael Kors and it's a size medium. It's this really nice knit hooded cardigan. It's in really great condition. Again, I don't think it's anything special. Nope, just cotton. All right, so this is another like vintage e sweater. Every time I find like a vintage Christmas sweater, it's always a size petite, <laughs> but it's this little snowman. It's like the double collar. I don't find a lot of Christmas stuff. I figured I'd pick it up and try it. I don't think I'm gonna actually list it for that much, but this is another brand that I didn't look up, but I picked it up anyway. It's called Allen Allen and it says USA and it's a size medium. I think it's a men's, but it's very like sheer, I guess, a uh, striped lightweight hoodie. It is a linen blend, so that's nice. I didn't even look. I just thought the label looked kind of cool and I figured I'd look it up later. So this is just Universal Threads, which is a Target brand, but they're a size 16 plus size black short. Black shorts are a great um, transitional piece into fall because you could wear it with like tights underneath, especially if you're in like a state that's still really hot, like in the South, then you can still wear them in the fall. This is an, one of, another Nasty Gal. Um, this one's a size two wrap top. This one just has like a straight sleeve and it's cute. Polka dots, love polka dots. Nice little wrap top. Nasty Gal, their stuff on their website is sometimes crazy expensive. So this is a new to me brand and I looked up comps and comps seemed pretty good. Some of them were selling for like 50 bucks. I didn't find this specific one, but I'll have to look a little bit more. It's called Crimson and Clover and it's a size extra large. Crimson and Clover, they both start with K's. It's probably really hard to see. This is very heavy. Like you could just tell it's good quality, thick. I think it's wool, long sweater. And it has like 
little eyelets there. Um, some pilling, but nothing I can't take out. And then pockets. Uh, and that sweater was actually part of the the bins that I was like, oh, I'm finally finding some really good stuff. These are a pair of Topshop Moto skinny black jeans, really good condition, very high-waisted. They look like the tiniest jeans I've ever seen, but I think they're in size two. They're size 26. Oh, this is one of the kids' things I got. This is a Betsy Johnson nine-month little leopard print like onesie with the love on it. I just thought that was really cute. There's a lot of kid stuff there today. So this is again, not something I looked up, but it's called Civil Society. I don't think it's gonna be like anything crazy. Cause it's just like made in China, but it was this cute like bleach denim looking top. It's not actually denim, but it looks like some like acid wash jeans. This I also didn't look up. The brand is Allude. And it feels like a very soft, fine wool. But I don't even think it's wool. And it says made in China down there. And then I could barely make out the tag. But... Oh, it's 40% cashmere. Oh, good. I swear I looked at the tag and I thought it said it like 100% cotton. I was like, oh, I'm still gonna get it. This is something I'm gonna send a throw up and see if they take. It's Laundry by Shelly Seagal. And this, they actually priced pretty well on there. I'm pretty sure it's faux fur, but it says old fin lining, which I don't know what that means. One of those things that you wear on your shoulders and like tie. Oh, this I also didn't look up. It's woolly, which I feel like is something I've heard before. It's based in Seattle and this is 100% merino wool. It's a extra large, I think it's a men's extra large, just a little pocket tee. It says the brand right there, woolly. Round to bag number two and I need to start going faster because my fiance has class in like 15 minutes. <laughs> Picked up these pants. I couldn't believe these were still at the pin, um, but it's a pair of like a loft from Frozen Disney branded leggings. I mean, they're very like sheer. Like I wouldn't wear these out and about. Um, Frozen size extra large. Honestly, they're probably still at Target. This is American Eagle Outfitters jeans. <laughs> my cat's being crazy. Um, this is like an old, this isn't super old, but this is an older label. Their new labels on their jeans is just say American Eagle. They don't say American Eagle Outfitters. These are size 12 and these are actually called um, the kick boot. So they're a boot cut. Um, but I thought they were a good size. And some people are looking for um, some like boot cut jeans. I actually found two of these in the same size and the same brand and everything, but I only picked up those. This is another flannel. This is brand I've never heard of. It says mine. And then it says London, Milan, New York, but I don't think it's anything fancy, but it's this great soft orange screams fall flannel. This is a pair of Shein, yeah, Shein size large jeans, which I don't really know what that means. But again, it's for like a summery jean, um, straight leg distress, definitely like a mom jean. Uh, Shein is a very cheapy brand. These are actually really thick. Surprisingly for Shein jeans. It's a pair of Hollister jeans, size five. They do junior sizing. Uh, distressed is why I got them and they're skinny and they're high rise and they have the button fly. Okay. Uh, American Eagle, next level stretch, high rise legging. Again, the older label, but another pair of just extraordinarily distressed skinny jeans. Uh, I know some people get really scared when they see stuff like this because they're like, I don't think it's supposed to even be like that. Kids want that, even if it's not supposed to be that stressed. Black, very soft pair of Kenneth Cole New York jeans, 14. Uh, and then they have these cute little like zipper side pockets. This I might also send in. It's an Ann Taylor double zero silk dress. It has this like little one arm detail like that. It's cute. Uh, it is silk. Found these Toms and they're like brand new. Well, I'll have to show you the other one. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do well, but they are like new and I figured that they'd be like a newer style. They are a wedge and they're sort of like an interesting pattern. But this is the other one. It's gonna have to get like re-glued down, but I figured that's not a lot of effort. It's another pair of distressed skinny light wash jeans. <laughs> um, these are Calvin Klein jeans, which I've never tried to sell and they're size six. This is, I think another Shein piece. I swear it said, oh yeah, Shein, size small. What's really in right now with the kids is wearing like a scarf or a bandana as a top. And this is sort of like a, a faux version of that. 
like an easier version. Like this would go over your head and then this would tie around your back. <laughs> These two, what was I thinking? I don't really know. It's a pair of Faded Glory um, American Eagle swim trunks, size large. I thought somebody would want these for sure. This I liked a lot. This I might end up keeping. I've never heard of this brand. It's Field and Stream, which kind of seems like something, like maybe like an outdoor brand like Cabela's would be. But it's this really cute, thick flannel and it's black and white check. Even if this brand is like on Poshmark, I can't imagine that they'd sell for very much. These I was excited to find. These are like, they feel like almost new. Um, L.L. Bean moccasins. Finding any matching shoes at my bins is just like pulling teeth. It's like the worst. <laughs> it honestly might be my size and if they are, I'm gonna be very tempted to keep it. This is 10 medium. And this is the other one. They're so cute. L.L. Bean makes such good quality things. Found, I thought it was gonna be Ralph Lauren, but it's uh, it says Los Angeles 1984 and it's John Galt, which is like, a line of Brandy Melville. Now that I am seeing it, there's like a little stain in the back, but even if that com can't come out, I'll still list it. This won't list it for very much. This I'm either gonna sell myself or send to ThreadUp. It's Ann Taylor Loft and it's a size large, but this really cute beige sweater. A back cutout and it has these nice little bell sleeves. Okay, I have like two minutes. <laughs> so let me try and quickly finish this up. Um, this is just Aeropostal, Aeropostal knit cardigan. I got it for style, not for anything else. It's not like a great brand. Same with this. This is Cat and Jack, kids size medium. Cat and Jack is sold at Target, but I thought it was cute. It says the future is now, and I thought that was a really cute design. Um, this is Saks Fifth Avenue. It's a size medium. It says made in Italy. It's a very delicate, like silk knit blend. Uh, so this is a pair of Urban Outfitters, size small. Like, um, this is what the tag looks like. Different kind of looking tag, but like a knit high rise pastel white and blue picnic pant. I also don't know too much about this, <laughs> but I thought it was a cute little straw handle cloth bag. The brand is The Original American. Don't know. Doesn't say anything else, but it's very clean. This is just a Lane Bryant size 1820. Clearly like, that means I have to finish up. So Lane mesh gold top, great for New Year's. There's like three things left. This is a Madewell extra, extra large basic tee. Probably keeping for myself. Love it. It's like a camel color. Eh, it's a, pretty much a no name brand but I see it a lot here. Great Northwest Indigo. It was new with tags in a bigger size, so I, I did put this in my cart, size 12. And the last two things, this is Woolrich. I've sold this on ThreadUp before and it um, paid me out like 20 bucks, but I feel like I could get that on my own on Poshmark. It's a really nice wool zip up, kind of like a jacket sweatshirt. <laughs> and then this is my favorite piece I found today. Um, it's a nice, I think also wool um, piece. It's Title IX, which is very expensive and it's a size extra large. Found this recently at my Goodwill, but they priced it up. So I was really excited to get it at um, the bins. It's almost like a cape jacket with a hood. And yeah, that was my haul. I have to get out of here because my fiance has class. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found this to be helpful or interesting. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And yeah, I hope you guys have good luck sourcing and selling and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.